Hello guys, my name is Crew, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this vending machine in Minecraft. It's super easy to operate, it works really well, and it's very simple to build. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a full tutorial. Anyway, let me show you guys how to use it. So you can see here we got ourselves a little selector in the middle, and we have the um, eight different items that we can buy along the outside. So we got ourselves an Unbreaking 3 book, an Iron Sword, a bow, anvil, a notch apple, rabbit's foot, iron horse armor, and some music discs. And um, if we go ahead and just point the arrow at whatever we want to buy, let's go ahead and say we want to buy a notch apple. Uh, you can see down here it says one diamond per item, so all we have to do is put in our little diamond, push the button, and in no time we should get our notch apple. You can see it sucked in our diamonds. We wait a little bit for it to come out, and badink, there's our notch apple. Nice and swell, so we can go ahead and select some other stuff. Let's say we want ourselves, we got to put in some diamonds first. So we'll just fill this guy up. Um, say we want an anvil. And let's get ourselves a rabbit foot as well. Um, maybe an unbreaking book. How about a bow? And maybe some horse armor. We're getting everything, man. You can see it sucked up all the diamonds that we used. And in a second here, we should be getting our horse armor. There we go. And yeah, that's everything. So it's not too difficult to build. It doesn't require too much redstone. I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial on how to build it. It's quite simple. Only requires a number of hoppers, droppers, repeaters, comparators, and some torches. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into this tutorial. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is build your little vending machine frame just like this and then you're going to want to break this block right here and place a dropper behind it. This is where your item frame is going to go, um, the one in the middle with the arrow and the eight on the side and down at the bottom is going to be your button. So then break the bottom um, left block and then come around the back and place yourself a dropper just like so and then we are going to want to come out a couple blocks and then place a comparator and then come out and then we're going to go down and then we're going to do redstone redstone uh, repeater going into a block and then a torch right there uh, now you're going to want to place a chest just like so and you're going to want to get a hopper and put a hopper facing into the chest and then put another hopper facing into the comparator just like that okay so next up we're going to be building this eight way item um, frame detector switcher mcjiggy and I got to give credit where credit's due. I didn't build this um, detector thing. This is the detector right here. Basically detects and turns off which signal it is. I didn't build this part, but I did come up with everything else. So uh, be sure to check the video description uh, for the original video on how to build this eight-way switch detector. Uh, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is come out just like so. And um, then you're going to want to go to the left, out a block, out another block in and um, then we're gonna fill in some things with comparators so we're gonna do comparator 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 here with a torch and then we're gonna do two and one there okay now you're gonna want to come over here and count nine blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to the side two and then we're coming back in until they meet up so you should have something that looks like this not too difficult then we're just going to want to place redstone along all this way and then a comparator right here and then more redstone along this side and you should be good now there's one very important thing that i missed this guy has to be on subtract mode if it's not on subtract mode it's not going to work all the other comparators make sure they're on normal mode Oh, make sure they're on normal mode where the lights off at the front. This guy you got to right click to where the lights on so it's in subtract mode. Okay, now you're going to want to take your droppers, skip this first guy and you're going to want to place a dropper facing outwards on each of these guys, just like so. All right, so now you're going to want to dig a hole in the ground that comes out of this little thing that we made at the beginning and over here just like so. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a repeater and go ahead and take this signal over here and then you're going to want to place torches along this row so you got something that looks like this and then we're going to go um we're going to go repeater 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 and then we're just going to fill in everything else with redstone just like so and connect it up and you should be good okay so this next step is pretty expensive it requires quite a bit of hoppers um but you're going to want to place a hopper facing into this dropper here have it come on over until it's lined up with these droppers and then have it come this way that way if you put anything in this thick guy 
it's going to go all the way to that dropper at the beginning. And now we are going to place ourselves a comparator here and have that going into a repeater on four ticks of delay. Then we're going to have a block, two dots of redstone, and then another repeater on four ticks, another repeater on four ticks, another repeater on four ticks, whoop, four ticks. And then we're going to have two dots of redstone, uh, one more repeater on four ticks of delay, and then have that guy going into a block with a dot of redstone on it, just like that. Okay, now that we have something like this, I forgot, but we really need to put a row of blocks just like this. Otherwise, it's totally not going to work. So a row of any blocks just like that so the redstone torch can power the dropper up there. Okay, so you guys have done it. You've built yourself a vending machine. Now, there are a couple more things that we need to do. If you come over around the back, this is the sorting mechanism. What you guys are going to want to do is put one diamond in there, and then you're going to want to get yourself a junk item, something that people aren't going to be throwing into this machine. We'll just use an acacia sapling. It can be in any item you want, as long as it stacks to 64. And what you guys are going to want to do is pile this guy up to 18, and then drag him the rest, just like so. That way, when they put a diamond in, it will go through. So that way if we put ourselves a diamond in and push the button It'll go through and it'll tick and whatever and the machine will go and now we need to fill up the inventory So to do this go ahead and get yourself some item frames and an arrow as well And you're just gonna want to put the item frames along like so putting the arrow in the middle Okay, so I thought it'd be a good idea for this vending machine to sell food. That sounds like a cool idea if anybody needs food around spawn or whatever. We'll just put it in like that. Also, keep in mind that you don't have to have your currency as diamonds. Say you guys want emeralds or iron or whatever you want, feel free to do that as long as it's only one item. And uh, so you're going to want to put your items in a circle along that. And then when it's pointing to the apple, you will notice that this piece of redstone's turned off. So this is where the apple's going to go in. And then if we flick it and have it pointing to the pork chop. This is where the pork chop's gonna go, so we'll put the pork chop in there. And then if we turn it facing um, to the fish, we'll just put that guy in there. And I did it in order, so I'm just gonna put them in order as we go down. Okay, now your machine should be ready to use. So if we go ahead and put ourselves a bunch of diamonds in here, we can go ahead and select something, like we'll get a baked potato. Um, then we'll go ahead, we'll get pork chop, sure. Um, of course, I want a cookie. And let's see here, we got one more diamond left, so let's go ahead and buy a mutton. And then there's no more diamonds in here, so it shouldn't let us get a chicken. But we'll push the button and nothing will come out. So we got our four different little items here, and we're all set. It paid the diamonds, and later when you're coming by, all the diamonds will arrive in this chest where you can go ahead and use them for whatever you guys want. Um, keep in mind that your inventory should be full all the time. Uh, if it runs out, there's no indication that it runs out, so you might have to give some of your customers a refund. Uh, but now, I thought I would attempt to explain this thing to you guys, because it's really easy how it works. And uh, so, here we go. Um, so, you may notice all of these droppers right here, they're all being powered by these torches down here. But, they're also all being powered up here. So they're being powered from two places, except this guy. This guy is only being powered from the bottom. So, what happens when you push the button and you enter a diamond, uh, what happens is all these torches turn off and turn on, but since these guys are still being powered from up top, they never turn off and then turn back on to dispense their items. Only this guy turns off and then back on. Because they're being powered from both sides, um, this is the only one that's only being powered from the bottom, so when the bottom turns off, he actually turns off, and then when he turns back on, he can dispense his item. So that's how it works. It's very simple, very cool. This guy, um, what it does is it just uh, makes sure to dispense the dropper here when an item gets put um, into it. When you order an item, it'll shoot it out at you. And yeah, very simple how it works. Hope you guys enjoyed this easy to follow tutorial, hopefully. If it helped you out and you built this little thing, be sure to drop a like because um, this is a very cool little invention that's very simple and works very well, especially if you guys have a server where you guys want to sell some items and stuff like I do. I'm probably going to be building one of these guys. Anyway, my name's Crew. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.